Farther south, high tide mixed with Idalia causing waves to spill into the streets of downtown Charleston. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa takes a look at what's being called historic flooding in the low country. It's a much quieter, calmer scene here this morning at the battery off of the Charleston Harbor, where we had some significant flooding last night. This morning, there's a lot of small branches and leaves and some debris behind. Crews have been in the park all morning cleaning up. Neighbors have been taking out leaf blowers and rakes to clean up some of the garbage that has even spread into the streets. And Stormwater Services is trying to clean out all of those drains. Now, I want you to see what we saw last night, what this flooding looked like. All of this ocean water came in, just kind of lashing on the railings here, breaching the battery here at Charleston Harbor and setting a record. Flood stage is about seven feet. Well, that peak tide last night hit 9.23 feet. That makes it the fifth highest tide to come through Charleston Harbor. That's only behind other notable storms like Irma and Matthew, and that is the fifth highest in more than 100 years of record. So really significant. The water was pretty high again, rushing and fast. Uh, there are some students from College of Charleston that live nearby and said that this was the worst flooding that they had ever seen in the area. When Ian came through last year, it was not nearly as bad. Now this area is susceptible to flooding. But again, with the record tide that came in at the same time as that storm surge, you had a king tide from a full moon. You had storm surge from Idalia all compounding at the same exact time in the evening, and that's why the flooding was just so bad. We also had some peak wind gusts here that were about 64 miles per hour. So again, pretty breezy. We've got some of these breezy winds today as the rest of Idalia continues to circle its way offshore off the Carolina coast. For now, reporting in Charleston. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa, back to you.